What's up, guys? Devon here. Justin, good friend from high school, and we got a. He's got a 2017 Subaru WRX. It's bone stock. It's gonna be a great platform to start. Um, first time driving this car, and I am really excited. So, let's get driving. Right off the bat, the clutch is. It's easy. Yeah, it's good. Good feel. It's almost like a Honda clutch. So numbers at a glance, we have 260, 280 horsepower? I think it's like 265 stock, something like that. Yeah. 265 on horsepower. I think it gets close to 300 on the On, on the torque. SCI, yeah. Yeah. Close to 300 on the SCI and close to 300 in the torque as well, yeah. So it's the FA20. FA20. So it's the BRZ and GT86 engine with a turbo, which tells you something. Um, Subaru slash... Toyota, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we have a turbo BRZ yet? I would have gotten the BRZ if they had this engine. In it. Right? It's it's just yeah. it makes you wonder what what are they doing? Mm -hmm. Although the back doors have been handy. Yes, <laughs> two extra doors do come in handy. So yeah. that's always something to keep in mind when searching for fun cars. Yeah, got a good feel, huh? Like that? Yeah, it's got a real good feel. The revs nice and light. Turbo kicks oh, in. Oh wow, yeah. RPM, yeah. Yeah, it kicks in about 3,000, boost kicks in, and it goes. It's very nice. And we gone. <laughs> so suspension's real compliant, it's supple, it's not bouncing around too much. Yeah, put a smile on my face. These tires, actually, these are not the stock tires. So these tires are, I think, a huge, huge upgrade over the Dunlops that come stock on it. Uh, like bumps on this road, this road's a little bumpy. Uh, where I'm at, downtown, downtown area, roads are terrible out there. Uh, these tires are just great for this type of road. Yeah, I was going to say, like, my car on this road would be doing this the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Just it bouncing noise around. Wise, I mean, noise-wise on these tires. These are uh, Indy 500s on it. Uh, most people they talk about you know getting the Michelin, the Pilot Sports, the Super Sport, but just, yeah, money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, sometimes you know if you're not looking to spend a grand on tires, you gotta find what's best for the paper you have to spend. And if you can get a good bang for buck tire, who isn't gonna want that? You know. Yeah. I know. I believe Ben's running General Tires on his TA, and they are actually doing pretty good for the, for the money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you can find good tires for good money, go for it. Yeah, I had a set of them on my Tacoma before I sold it. General Grabbers. Okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. So in third. Very nice. Things you like to do with this car? You have a bone stuck now. You know, I, I don't track it. I don't really do anything with it. Honestly, these days I keep it in the garage. I try to. Well, I don't have a <laughs> try garage, to, but yeah. yeah, I'm about to have a garage again. Um, yeah, I guess it's. I mean, just kind of do a little bit of spirit in driving when you when you get a chance. That's why I got it. I didn't get the STI because I know I'm not a track guy. I'm not hanging yeah. out the track every weekend. So, and of course, this is a little more I think streetable. Whereas the STI, you know, you're going to get more of the top end performance on it. So you're you know getting on the freeway. If you wanted to drop into third on the freeway, you're just going to you know, fly off of yeah. the STI. This thing is, you know, you'll get some get up and go, but you're not going to go as fast as an STI. And you don't have to worry about the rigman problems like the STIs are known for. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess that's the thing with this engine you're talking you know FA20 DIT so direct injection on it uh, you know it's just a more I guess a, a more technologically advanced engine than the EJ so that, that's another thing behind it but I guess the the thing is from in the tuning community it, nobody's really kind of figured out the right recipe with this engine yet. yeah I think what they're finding out is that from what I understand the connecting rods are sort of the weak point in this engine compared to the Impreza you know, just getting like a nice satellite radio, this nice dash in the middle. And speaking of which, we're, we're sitting here in a like boost gauge. Oh, nice. I didn't gas even see that. Yeah, it's got a boost gauge built into it. That's <laughs> actually really awesome. It kind of comes down to, I would like to, I think now that I've had it for a little while, I would like to start working on it just a little bit. But I mean, the biggest things you're going to do to a car are going to be tires, essentially. So, you know, maybe getting a, a better set of tires than the Indy 500s, which the Indy 500s, I think, are very, very good tires. But, you know, just starting to maybe, you know, do intake, exhaust, that sort of thing. Yeah, intake, exhaust, just wake up the car, give it a little bit more sound. Yeah. Can you hear a turbo spool a lot more? Give it some more theatrics. Everyone wants that. Yeah. 
really short shift, but it is a boost. I love boost. Oh, yeah. That turbo, it really does have a lovely noise, too. Yeah. When I first got the car, I just would, like, drive around and, at neighborhood speeds, yeah. like, 30 miles an hour. Like, when we could hear it. It sound like a diesel up. truck. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Yeah, fourth gear pull is actually really nice. It just, like, goes. I don't know, it just wants to keep going, too. It, it, the engine just runs very, very smoothly. It's just, you know, you feel very confident in it, you know? You do, yeah. It's very confidence-inspiring. It's not scaring you at all. It doesn't scare me. It's not like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, am I, am I going too fast? You're just, like, you're driving, you're cruising, you stab the throttle a little bit, and before you know it, you're, 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 you're doing good things. It does very well in the rain as well. I mean, this car is just, you know, I guess having an all-wheel drive... I guess that, that's what I would attribute it to, but yeah, always having sure. it in the rain, you feel very confident driving in the rain. I don't, you know, I'm not you know, saying to haul ass in the rain or anything <laughs> like that. But, but if you need to, yeah. or if you find yourself feeling a little, a little uh, frisky in the rain, we'll track it. So like, if you, I mean, that's yeah. the peak it's hit in since last time I uh, reset the odometer. It hit what? Twenty-two point one psi. Oh, it tells you what the peak was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that's just the, the max that. It, Reads, yeah, and it, it it'll it'll reset that every time you reset the odometer. Oh, okay, interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Yeah, so let's see. I mean, I think uh, if we were to go and see what, like, since my last oil change, yeah, twenty two point one. I guess it's twenty two point one. So where's the neighborhood? Yeah. I think it was a race. That's what it's doing. <laughs> go for it. Second gear pull? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some work on that thing yeah I mean, it's 400 horsepower yeah. at, at the wheels so. <laughs> but that, it's not bad yeah it's Keeping not bad, not with bad. That. he got some that was spin going in because he started second gear so that would have been some spin going into what like third or fourth minute? the car it just turns in it goes good power oh yeah nice supple compliant suspension oh yeah fun right yeah very fun <laughs> Turns in like nothing. Fun. <laughs> Sick. Get out of here, birds. <laughs> <laughs> it's got great turn in, really good feel. Um, but the torque is probably my favorite part. Just the way it pulls is just so nice. It's reminiscent of a... Uh, I drove a mildly modified Evo um, that came into the shop when I was working there. Mm -hmm. And he said it was putting on about 350 at the wheels. Well, that's where I wanted to go. Yeah, you can turn around again. And um, that, that thing pulled a lot. It, this reminds me of that. Which is arguably the oh oh and and the Evo fanboys or the Subaru fanboys aren't gonna like you. Yeah, no, they're not. The Subaru fanboys are gonna hate me for that one. <laughs> but the caveat to that, the only other car that I could justifiably compare to the way this feels, um, is a K04 Swap GTI. Um, okay. Another one of those came into the shop, and that felt similar. The main downfall is, of course, that's front wheel drive. Yeah. What's a K04 engine? Well, the K04 Turbo comes from the Audi S4. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so it's a slightly larger turbo so than what comes uh, on most of their cars. That's a little bit of a project right there to you know swap an Audi engine into a Volkswagen. No, no, not the engine, just the turbos. Oh, just the turbos. Yeah, okay. yeah, just the K04 Turbos. So let's turn down this way this time. A little sharper turn. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this car with an arguable upgrade would be amazing. It'd be perfect, actually. Good feel. It really is. 
Yeah, the boost in, in second is just addicting the way it comes on. I do need to take it to the track sometime, <laughs> honestly. And just Dude, MSR uh, Houston. It. MSR Houston. Mm-hmm. Is that loose again? Yeah, it is. Oh, crap. Okay. Nice. Car's done. Made the camera loose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wearing the wrong shoes to try to heal too. That's why I haven't really tried it with these shoes on. I'm doing uh, cowboy boots. I was sitting here enjoying being driven. Yeah. You know, I, I drive too often. It's uh, I never get to get driven around. Yeah, that shift is weird. Yeah, it just takes some getting used to. But it downshifts nicely. Let's see. Yeah. You can really just turn it in. Oh yeah, that's good. On it. Or somebody texted me. Maybe it was him. Yeah. There, I'll pull over and I can see. Yeah. Let me go ahead and close this video out. You may or may not be able to hear me because it's windy and both cameras died. Um, thank you guys so much for checking it out. We really do appreciate it. 2017 WRX is an amazing driver's car for the regular everyday enthusiast, I'll say. If you want a car you can drive every day that's comfortable, that's compliant, that's sporty, that's quick, has good torque, and still looks good, I'm recommending the WRX. So, thanks again for Justin for letting us experience the car. And I'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Remember to go out there and do something awesome. Peace.